set the record straight. As I said, not straight. Hello, my name is Rob Madge, and you are watching B Way Show. <laughs> Are we filming? Are we filming? Is it on? <laughs> Are we filming? Good. I love that because I was like, if I looked at all my videos, it's just like... Really is a catchphrase. I'm sure we all must have said it all the time. We're all such attention seekers at heart, aren't we? we? Are. <laughs> Do you have a favorite princess? Yeah, um, Ariel, always. Yeah? Icon of my life. <laughs> Little Mermaid story of yours? Favorite Little Mermaid story? Okay, so I was desperate to have this wig, an aerial wig specifically, and I was always very scared to buy it. And then my dad just marched up to the counter one day and he bought me that wig, and then we put on the Little Mermaid in the living room and we had projections. I'm very proud of my projection display. I was very inspired by the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show in Hollywood Studios. <laughs> yes. They basically just play the film <laughs> behind the actors, and that's what we did in the living room. <laughs> Be Ariel. Let your child be Ariel. Let your child be the Little Mermaid and Peter Pan and Mary Poppins and ignore anyone who says that they can't because those kids are not alone. There's a whole community of them putting on shows in living rooms across the globe. It starts in your living room and who knows, your kids might grow up with pride. Um, oh and that's magic! I was obsessed. I mean, we all did have these like at home. I feel like being queer, being theater people, I was so moved by even just the idea that there is queer on a Broadway marquee. Like as someone who like, when I tell people like I'm queer, like that is the term I like to use. And it, I, it kind of makes me emotional and you're doing oh. that. Well, thank you. I mean, I just want to remind everybody that it's not a scary word. Yeah. That it's in big old gold pink letters over a Broadway stage, and so it should be. There's nothing wrong with that word. It's a lovely word. I'm, pr I'm very proud to be queer. I'm so chuffed to be here with you all, even though the stage is sort of small, we'll make it work. I'm humble after all. Yeah, yeah. If you were to describe the show to your friends, what would you say? To my friends? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> to my friends. Firstly, I'm so sorry for all the living room shows I made you all endure. Thank you for always supporting me. And come along to opening night. Let's have a party, friends. Ooh. <laughs> this shining star will take the stage by storm. Like, I've been following you since Fringe, since London, wow. and it's really cool to see like it evolve. And I remember when I first heard that you were coming to Broadway, I was like, Broadway's in for such a treat. Thank you. Like, what has it felt like for you going on this journey? Could you have ever dreamed of Broadway, or were you like, Broadway, here I come? <laughs> I think if you'd have asked myself as a child, six-year-old Rob would have been like, yeah, I'm gonna do Broadway, because <laughs> we all have those ambitions. But then as you grow up, I don't know, opinions people sort of make you feel like right. that's never possible so the fact that it's happening i'm like it is possible you can do it and anyone that wants to do it go oh, manifestation is real yeah it can come to you <laughs> and queer dreams come true truly they always do in the end i want to know too what has evolved from uh fringe to london to broadway well we have just got a, a budget now, <laughs> which yeah. is lovely. I mean, doing the show at the Fringe, loved it. But you know, it's the Fringe. Yeah. You barely ha I barely had an armchair to sit in, and the armchair <laughs> is a crucial set piece. Crucial. Come on, Pink Velvet. Come on, Pink Velvet. Isn't it lovely? I tried to match my outfit to the armchair. Yeah, I love today. it. <laughs> love it. Um, so it's it's just got bigger, and we've got lighting. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the heart <laughs> the heart of the story will always remain. You know, that is never going to change, whether it's done in my living room or at the Lyceum, you know? Mm. So I try not to think too much about the Broadwayness of it all. It's, it's so exciting, Definitely. but it's always, you know, I have to think about it being done in my front room at home, otherwise I will be terrified. And if, if there's a young queer watching at home who has always wanted to see themselves on stage, what do you want to say directly to your fans watching at home? Oh, 
It's our time. It is our time. Everyone is telling us that it is not, and they are trying to push us back. They cannot change who you are. And unfortunately, everybody is going to have an opinion. That will never change, sadly. But knowing who you are in yourself and being proud in that, no one can ever take that away from you, no matter what people say. So ignore them all, do it, and come, come to Broadway. That's what I did. Anything is possible when the stage is your living room. Anything is possible with umbrellas, a suitcase, and a broom. Use your imagination, there's magic up your sleeve. Take a bow, yes, anything is possible. If you just Thanks for watching my press day coverage of My Son's a Queer, but what can you do on B-Way Show? Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment along. And if you really like what you're seeing, please consider contributing to my Indiegogo to help B-Way Show grow. See you at the show! show.